everyone welcome back to my channel money reads where i talk about books and things and today i am trying out a new thing which is tuesday talks where i basically i do talk you through what i'm reading what i'm planning to read what i haven't been reading what i dnf'd etc sometimes i forget to put dnf's in my videos but mainly this is just like a life update thing so if this is not your spiel why don't you go watch this video up here where i announced that i am giving away 20 euros worth of books i i said that it was like one book up to 20 euros but it can be two books three books whatever the f you want it just has to end up being I'm like I mean, if it's like 2150 I'm not gonna get mad but anyway but I'm gonna talk to you about my life the last couple of days and the likes so get yourself a hot drink if you want to know my hot drink of choice again go to that video because I answer it okay so how am I uh, this week has been really bad it's been like a shit week like ugh. I am I am so over a certain um, corona situation going on in the world. I am over it like a billion and ten percent. Like I'm just not. I'm I'm done. We're, we're we're done. Can we like move on to something else? Can there be like another catastrophe that does does something? Because at this point um, in Spain, we've just had like so many confinements, so many police enforced confinement and it's starting to get to me i'm really a homebody i don't like to go out but i do like for example going to a library going to a bookstore and i just can't do that anymore so it <clears throat> it's been getting to me a little bit even though it was like like i had a really good week and i had a bad week and then my body dysmorphia has been really bad i was doing really well for a while there and then um i wasn't that's so that goes but um, as far as good books go, I'm going to go into books and then um, we'll talk more about my fun life. Jamaica Inn. I think I've decided to DNF this book, at least for now. Wow, was I underwhelmed with this book. It's... Excuse me. It's just not Daphne du Maurier's best, according to me and just me and, you know. And I just... I, I am not interested in the main character, which is really rare. I'm usually really interested in her main characters, and this one just doesn't interest me. Like, in the slight, like, I'm not even slightly interested in her main character here. So that sucks, and I am going to just DNF it for now because I am. I, this book, put, this was the first book I picked up this month, and it just started in the downhill slope from there. So, this is a DNF from me. Then we got this one, which I said I was going to read. Like, I started a weekend vlog where I was going to read this. But this has turned into such a fantasy book. And, you know, a lot of times we think the difference between fantasy and sci-fi is just the setting and not the storytelling. And the storytelling is actually <clears throat> one of the biggest differentiators between fantasy and um sci-fi and i feel the first book was really sci-fi the second book was sci-fi plus fantasy and now this third book is really fantasy and if you know anything about me i don't like fantasy and i just kind of want them to get to the point like just get to the fucking point like i don't know i'm i'm not liking this book i'm just gonna say it. i'm not liking this book so i put this down i'm gonna i'm gonna finish it because i want to i want to know what happens like do x and x come back together you know what happens but but right now i'm just kind of like oh and also all the political shit going on in this book i just that shit doesn't interest me like that's why i tend not to read anything that is really heavily politically like base that's also why i don't want to continue with the dune books because i hear that they're more political drama than um chosen one thing you know so also if you're wondering yes i am in my pajamas so yeah um i'm gonna finish it i will writing is still great i'm just not into this as much as i watched into the fifth wave and then the obelisk gate started going downhill and then this one i think it's a little bit uh downhill then i read this and i I'm gonna have words with you about this eventually, but um, 
Reading slump. Thank you. Thank you, book, for putting me in a reading slump. Um, I read it. We have feelings. We, as in the royal we. Um, it's not a bad book. It's just full of a bunch of really shitty tropes that I really don't like. So, um, yeah. No hate to Silvia Moreno Garcia. I think um, her writing is great, but I just found a lot of things in this that you know what it is also i think that this is like another ya disguised as an adult because it's got sex in it so we have that although i did appreciate the main character like i, I appreciated noemi she was like a really cool main character she's she does have a little bit of that not like other girls trope i'm gonna put a video up tomorrow talking about how we describe women and what I mean when I say not the other girls trope because a lot of times when we say oh it's not like other girls um what we really what you what you think is the character herself or somebody else describes her as not like other girls but it's not necessarily it doesn't have to be said that the character is not like other girls what has to be done is have her be described as in comparison to other women and how she is different from other women and that really like just kind of my gears you know it got really annoying so um i think that book has that um and i think that that's I'm not, it, it's not only a YA thing, I think it ha a lot of books have that, but I find that a lot in YA, I also say, I, I say that in, in the video that I'm going to post tomorrow, that there's a lot of YA that just describes women, the, the description of a, of a woman or of a girl in the case of YA, um, is in comparison to other women or girls her age and how she is taking a different turn in life or how she has other aspirations and it's like <sighs> women are really varied don't do that shit don't do that shit i'm um, sorry about that um next up i'm going to do a little haul because <laughs> your girl got some books <laughs> look i was having a bad week and also a funny story i ordered like I, ha I, I got this order of five books, four of them were repeats, like two of them were the same book and the other two were the same book because I forgot that I had ordered them. Well that just means I really wanted them, right? Or that I have no self-control when it comes to shopping. I do have self- sometimes, okay? I'm having a bad week. <laughs> Anyway, so um, I started this, I don't know what it's called, I'm going to call it The Sleeping Giants. The Sleeping Giants, I always say just like the name of the first book, <laughs> The Sleeping Giants. The, oh no, it's called The Themis File, The Themis File, whatever. It's, uh, I bought The Waking Gods by Sylvain Novel. Is it Sylvain Novel? Doesn't it say, oh my god. It was blurred by Pierce Brown, who is not Pierce Brosman. But anyway, um, yeah, I got this one because I really, I did enjoy, yeah, book two of the Themis file. I really enjoyed the first one, but then I just kind of forgot about it and didn't read it. And I want to read it because, no, I didn't forget about it. It just has my least favorite trope of all time right at the end. And I was like, fuck this shit. Like, I don't want to read about it. But then everybody like seems to really like it. So, um, and also, I feel that I've been reading, I don't know if you've noticed that I've been reading, I read, oh, also, reading some, I read The Obelisk Gate, I read I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, we'll get to that one, oh my god, and, um, I read, uh, American Gothic, I'm reading, uh, Moon Over the Crested, shit snow over the crested moon i always forget the title of this book i'm the worst it's my dyslexia i don't know if it's moon over the crested snow or crested snow over the moon it's really good but the narrator is so bad i couldn't finish this book in one day but the narrator is so bad like he makes me want to like 
go find him and be like, yo, you, you gotta narrate better. But um, I hadn't read any sci-fi, so then I tried reading Leviathan Wakes, um, which I was, I did enjoy the beginning, I did enjoy the beginning, but I kinda had that thing where it's like, is this gonna be another political thing? Because if it's another political thing, I'm not gonna enjoy it. So please leave down below if it's like super political, like, like, you know, what I mean political is like, is it gonna be that kind of political drama that it's like, we have to get permission to do this, and we have to, do, like, just fucking go do it, you know? See, this is why I would never, like, this is, this is me as a teenager, like, I don't need permission to do the things, I just do them. That's how I ended up with a really big tattoo, by the way. Um, so yeah, uh, I plan to read this one after I finish, uh, Snow Over the Crusted Moon, or Moon, no, Moon of the crusted snow there we go is that it like is that here i hope so so yeah that one's really really good and then i'm gonna read this because i need some sci-fi and i'm gonna continue leviathan wakes um and that's just my plans for the rest of the month i really think my wrap up this month is gonna be like five books but then i always say that and then i always wrap up like 17 books so you can call me out all you want and as far as everything else um work has been shit <laughs> i have so much work and i just i'm tired i'm really tired i'm filming this before work today i don't know what time it is i don't know if i should be getting ready for work as you can see i'm not gonna go work in my metallica pajama shirt i don't think i have anything else to update you on uh, oh, oh, yes I do. So, my favorite true crime booktuber uploaded a video on the Mothman. And uh, let's just say the Mothman is the thing that I'm scared, most like scared of in my life. The Mothman and Chupacabra. And there's this theory that they're the same thing. Girl, I, mm, no. If you want to read more about that, there's uh, The Mothman Prophecies. It's a book. Why did I read that? Like, I, like, I suffer from a really severe sleep disorder, like very severe, to the point where like I had to get medication for it and everything. And if you're wondering what that sleep disorder is, if you've seen Haunting of Hill House, it's like Nell, like what Nell has, but now multiply it by 10 times per night, or sometimes 15. Yeah, yeah, I get, I get sleep paralysis. I get sleep paralysis like 10 to 15 times a night not every night but i used to get it like every like like five nights per month that amount but then i would get like normal sleep paralysis like like two nights per week or something like that and um when i when i when i watched the movie that it's based on the mothman prophecies i actually couldn't sleep for like two weeks because so terrified it's such a bad movie too but um i don't know um i think my husband and i were talking one of the reasons i like sci-fi is because i'm terrified of aliens and i want to see what people say about aliens there you go this is why i can't do a q a because i just tell you everything about my life but yeah i gotta go get ready for work and uh yeah this is what the tuesday talks are just basically me sitting here on my couch Telling you about books, telling you about life, telling you about the universe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else to say except thank you so much for watching. Go watch my giveaway video. Go If you want to win 20 euros worth of books, then go at it you know go follow the link that i posted before and as always i really appreciate each and every single one of you please subscribe please like please do all those fun things and i will see you in another galaxy far far away where i'm probably wearing makeup <laughs>